Welcome and thank you for being here. It is my pleasure and my honor to introduce this course to you on note-taking, symbols, and techniques. We're going to give you all the tools you need to bring your consecutive interpretation to the next level. So let's get started. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Virginia Valencia. I am a professional psychologist. A lot of what you're going to see in this course is based on the knowledge of how the brain works and how we learn most efficiently. I'm also a federally certified code interpreter. I am certified or approved, depending on the state, by the Superior Courts of California, New Jersey, and New York. I have a combined certificate in translation and interpretation from Hunter College. I have been facilitating workshops for over 10 years. And through InterpreTrain, I am a published author of educational materials for interpreters. We have manuals, we offer audio exercises, videos, and other materials such as vocabulary study cards. So let's jump right into it. Why are we here? We have the main goal, which is to improve your listening, your note-taking, your memory, and your accuracy. So we're going to give you tools that will empower you to improve in all these areas. I'm gonna give you some scenarios and if you can identify with one of these or with some or all, then this course is going to help you a great deal. The first thing is you start interpreting. Of course, this is consecutive interpretation, so you're taking turns, so you're taking notes or you're listening as a person speaking. And the person really hasn't started speaking for that long. They've just begun and you're already feeling like, uh-oh, I'm not going to be able to retain that information. And you're forced to stop the person and you're constantly saying, I'm sorry to interrupt. And you're constantly feeling like, I'm sorry to interrupt. Now, I'm not talking about those scenarios in which people have talked and talked for a long time. I'm talking about those scenarios in which the person has really not spoken for very long and you already need to stop. Okay, so we're going to give you many tools to help you acquire the skill to take on a little more, to have memory, to retain a little more information. The second scenario is the person begins to speak, you're listening and you're taking notes, but as you're taking notes, you realize that your notes are distracting you. Your notes are really not helping you to listen because you're wondering, do I write this down? Do I abbreviate this? Do I draw a symbol for this? How do I draw a symbol for that? So little by little, your notes start distracting you from listening. And when it comes time to render your notes, you have no idea what your notes say or what the person was saying. And then the final scenario, person starts talking, you start taking notes, and you're taking very good notes, you're very happy with your notes, you're taking very copious notes, but when it comes time to render your notes, you don't know what you meant to say, you don't know what your notes mean. And the more you look at your notes, the smaller you feel, and at the end of the day, you can't interpret because you have no idea what that person said. So we're going to give you the tools to help you not have that situation as often or not at all. So we're going to begin by understanding the psychology behind note-taking for interpreters. What's going on in our minds, cognitively speaking, when we're taking notes? 